It's been 25 years since Mighty Ducks 2 rocked the box office and America's heart. Who could forget all the classic characters? Where are they now? And are there any good stories from behind the scenes? We answer these questions and many, many more in this, the official Mighty Ducks 2 25th Anniversary Extravaganza. Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Matt Houchin, coming to you from the conference room of the Staybridge Suites, Minneapolis Bloomington. If you're like me, you grew up watching Mighty Ducks 2. You know all the lines by heart. And you're a little resentful that you weren't cast in the movie as one of the ducks or one of the other characters. You were the same age as everybody and you had the talent to do it. Um, but uh, it, that just it never happened. So in honor of the Mighty Ducks 2's 25th anniversary, we've brought back all the stars we could right back here to Minnesota. And we're gonna talk to them and see what their updates are. My first guest, you're gonna remember him from the scene at the beginning where the bus pulls up and Emilio Estevez himself limps off. He was the actual bus driver in that scene. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my dad, Don Houchin. Thank you. Also joining us today, you remember him as one of the evil hawks. I don't know what his character's name was, but his name in real life is Casey. Give it up for Casey Garvin. Thank you, Matt, for having me. Uh, the character's name is Larson. I don't do that. Does anyone say that in the movie or? No. Well, it's on the jersey, so yeah. I guess. No one really remembers your character. Thanks for coming, you two. Let's get right to the question Wait, that everybody uh, wants to know. Is, this is it? This is all you got. This is me and your dad. What was it like working with Emilio Estevez? It was very short-lived. I was driving the Greyhound bus up toward the St. Paul Terminal, pulled over by the curb, and they had rain coming down from the roof of the Greyhound Terminal. Just hoses. And he asked me if I was the driver in the previous Mighty Ducks, and I said I was not. Hmm. And he got off and just walked down, and that's where, that's the last time I saw him. Very friendly, nice, a regular guy. So nobody else is coming. What's your problem, Casey? I'm sorry, Dad. I was a little disappointed that you couldn't really tell it was me. I mean, I had to tell people, that's me, right there <laughs> behind the windshield. But, you know, it, it, it was fun. It was like a two or three day stint I had when I was working with Greyhound. So. And now you work here? Right now I'm retired. I retired July of 2011 and I'm driving part-time for a hotel. At this hotel? Back and forth to the airport, Mall of America, eateries. Cool. I'm just trying to keep the guests of the hotel happy. It's either this or home and vacuuming. This beats vacuuming the house. All right, well thanks Dad. And before we go over to Casey, let's check out a clip. Wow. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was me the same year that D2 The Mighty Ducks was filmed. I remember that. Pretty good, right? I mean... Yeah. That was a really good concert. What does that have to do with Mighty Ducks 2? There was definitely a lot of charisma there. I mean, you heard the girls cheering and... Dad, don't you think I would have been good as one of the ducks? Absolutely would have been good. You'd have been great, like you've been in all things in your life. I always thought, however, that you could have... Uh, What's his name on uh, Ryan Seacrest? I always thought you could do Ryan Seacrest way better than he does Ryan Seacrest. Yeah. He's such a cheeser, and you're not a cheeser. You're just a real, real dude. Thanks, Dad. I think I would have been really good at Mighty Ducks, too. But those were actors from Hollywood. They're not here looking at public access TV shows in Minnesota looking for talent. Oh, well, that's interesting because you're from Minnesota and you got yeah, to but I had in the movie. Yeah, I agent. I, I actually played hockey, Matt. Uh, did you play hockey? No, I didn't play hockey, but how hard could it be? I feel like if I would have gotten in the movie, I would have learned hockey. It's, yeah, and 
For the record, I would have been way better than Stupid Pacey. You mean Josh Jackson? Did you say Josh Jackson? I know him as Josh. That's a little name dropping. That's how I remember him. I, I'm not friends with him. I just remember his name Josh. Joshua Josh. Jackson You're talking about hockey. Dawson's Creek. Did you watch the movie? They called him Spazway. He's bad in yeah. D1 and D2. Okay. He's the worst player on the team. Like, why would you even put someone in the movie that is not even good at hockey if you're going to be playing hockey? If I was in the movie, I would have been better not only at acting than Pacey, but I would have been better at hockey. I don't think you know how movies work. Oh, I don't? Because I'm pretty sure they cast my dad as the bus driver in the movie because he's the best bus driver. They don't just say, hey, Dawson from Dawson's Creek, why don't you come play the bus driver? Dawson has probably never even driven a bus in his life. <sighs> Let's check out another clip. Wow. That's pretty good for only second grade. That was me, by the way, in the Nutcracker. <laughs> that was great. The Nutcracker was great. Are you going to show any clips from the movie? Kind of makes you think maybe I should have been in Home Alone instead of stupid Macaulay Culkin. Uh, dude. What do you think, Dad? You could have been, yeah. You could have done anything. This is so stupid. Dude, maybe you could have been a great actor. I don't know. But you got, I mean, there's things you got to do. You have to have an agent. You have to go on, on auditions. The, it helps to not be from Bloomington, Minnesota. Yeah, but you lived in Bloomington. Acting is not everything that it is made out to be. It's hard work. I started when I was 11 years old. I put my heart and soul in it. You've got to go on audition after audition after audition. You hear no way more times than you hear yes. I mean... Oh, uh, my dad's phone is ringing. Hello? Okay, Terminal 1 or Terminal 2? All right, I'm out of here, thanks. You gotta run. Airport, guest for the Hampton. Anyways. Hey, have fun, guys. Coffee's on us. Uh, yeah, well, I think we pretty much covered everything. Casey, did you have anything else you wanted to say about D2, the Mighty Ducks are back? I guess not. Yeah, well, I hope you all enjoyed this look back at one of the great sports movies of all time, D2 The Mighty Ducks. Wow, what a legacy. It will never die. Even though everyone here agrees that I would have been much better in the role of Charlie. So is this going to be on someplace? 20, 25 years. That's a, that's, a big, that's a big anniversary. So this is definitely, this will definitely be a popular show. Popular television special. Yeah. For sure. And I just want to thank my guests, my dad, uh, Don Houchin, and um, actually in hindsight I, re I regret inviting Casey uh, because now that I'm thinking about it, he was barely in this movie at all. Like, I mean, anybody could have played the part that he played. No offense. Can I go? Yeah, you can go.